It's uh, time for Boomtastic. Celebrating ba bo bleh, baby boomers uh, as the last of the generation turns 50 this year like our Hoda in 12 days. Today we're talking about menopause. <laughs> you can dread it or you can approach it with a sense of humor like one woman has. Check out this video. Take a look. Girl, you thought you were done learning about your body after age 12? Well, your uterus and your ovaries disagree. much earlier, I fear. Holy crap! You can start getting symptoms six to ten years before. And that's called perimenopause. 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 Whoa! <laughs> that was the idea of Ellen Dolgen, a woman's health advocate who has a weekly blog called Menopause. Monday. Yeah, Dr. Lauren Stryker is a gynecologist at Northwestern University and the author of Love Sex Again. And if you're wondering why we have this <laughs> hair blown look, it's because we have people in our studio helping us out as as this whole process begins in yes. earnest. It's, it's not just psychological, is it, ladies, that oh, she no, just started doing all. this right before she this turned it's, it's a real thing. This is real. How about this your video, real. by the way? Can we talk about that for Everybody one second? Everybody should have a singing uterus. <laughs> you don't? No, no my, yeah. We well, can help you with that. I, I, I had singing on, for years. I had on my uterus costume, and yeah. I got to the for airport, sure. yeah. and the TSA was, like, all over it. So I had to take it off. But um, I, mm -hmm. the reason I made this uh, music video is because uh, I was completely blindsided yes. by perimenopause, and I really want women to understand, the younger women especially, um, what perimenopause is, how it right. affects their biological clock and their fertility, sure. and what the symptoms are so well, that they can become their own health advocate. Yeah, mm -hmm. speaking of symptoms, um, hot flashes, like number one Absolutely the number one symptom. And, oh. and again, talking about being blindsided, my patients say to me all the time, I'm going to tough it out. I'm going to do a little yoga. I'm just going to get a fan. Yeah. And then it hits them. Yeah. And we're not talking a little warm. We're talking rivers Drenched. of Drenched. sweat. Right. And all those women that say, well, I'm just going to tough it out, they can't. And you know, the, we always say it's not your mother's menopause, and part of it is your menopause may be different than your mother, but your mother wasn't running a company. She wasn't an airline pilot. She wasn't a talk show host. You know, you've got to function. You've got yeah. to work. And when you are up all night mm -hmm. flashing, my message is you don't need to do that. You don't need to suffer. There are solutions. There are safe wonderful things you can do because this should be a good time of life. Well, there must be new products on the market because when I was perimenopausal at the age of 41, there weren't, yes. and, and it made me a maniac. Yeah. And, and by the way, I did 41 it is not abnormal. Early. 51 oh. is the average age, but any time after 40 is considered to be normal mm -hmm. and young wow. women often a lot more severe yeah. that's when my symptoms started i was in the middle of a business meeting all of a sudden yeah. uh, i couldn't finish my train of thought yeah it comes on that fast right. and then right. i looked like i had run a 5k and i was drenched yeah. right and, and i had think it's too, too young it can't be me and right. yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's really hard to function like that so it's good to understand so, all the different options but there are some things you can do absolutely right? oh, definitely. and what, what absolutely. are some basics well the that, basic thing is you have to really look at what your symptoms are so hot flashes, for example, the most common symptom. While you can do some lifestyle things, all the yoga and fans in the world is not going to help if you're that woman with rivers of sweat. You say avoid alcohol, avoid uh, <laughs> spicy foods. Spicy avoid foods. Now, yeah, I noticed you're drinking out. red wine before. Switch mm -hmm. to white. Red's a little bit worse. So you can oh, find yeah. some triggers. But beyond that, I'm there are some fine. women that just really <laughs> need to go to their doctor and get a prescription. Now, when we talk about going to your doctor, I wish mm -hmm. I could say that every doctor is a menopause expert, but they're not. And while your doctor may be, you need to get good information. My favorite place to send women is uh, North American Menopause Society, menopause.org, yeah. where you can also get good information. But once you get to your doctor, he or she is going to tell you, first of all, about the estrogen products that are available we now, which point, are yeah, very we should, we should different. point out that, uh, you know, there are links with estrogen and there are issues that come along with it when it comes to breast cancer. Less than you think. Less right. than you think. And right. I think that's the big disconnect. And that's why it's so important to get good information. Okay. Now, some, and everyone I think is familiar with the pills. A lot of women don't know about the transdermal estrogens, meaning estrogen that goes through the skin, which in many right. ways are much safer. Okay. And you can use a gel. You can use a patch. I brought with me. Uh, we, we have one of the sprays here, which is another way of, of giving estrogen. Okay. Um, you can put a little patch on your skin that you just wear it. Let me just say, we just have a couple seconds left because sure. I want to ask our other guests, like, yes. when's the best time to, because uh, sex is an issue. Yes. And yes. it ain't great after. Uh, yeah. It can be very Listen, painful. Listen, uh, my badge.
packed up and went to the Sahara Desert. Uh -huh. I was Her parched vag. and dry. Yeah. <laughs> and, Bob, that's what she said. And, and it was not fun. Yeah. Yeah. So there are lots of options. Yeah. Um, and okay. you know, didn't bring I any mean, of those with you I today. Did. Did. I never go anywhere without them. I mean, <laughs> really? ranging from all kinds of things, right. but you know, maybe a lube job. Time for a okay, so, job. All right, you've had to do a loop job. That's well, no, this is actually a new product. That, and as Ellen said, there are many options. This is a ring that you put in your vagina. It's not like a diaphragm. Just squeeze it, put it in there. Three months. Stays there for three months. The end of three months, you throw it out. You put another one in. When you change your Brita, you change your ring. And it will make it like it was when you were 20. Okay. Also, moisturizers anyway. and loop. Okay, okay. ladies. Anyway. Uh, we can go on. Thank you. Thank you for bringing your doctors here to be with us today. We appreciate it. Yeah. It's just about time, time to, to share, share your, your videos, videos for our fan spotlight.